Yo, yo, what's the deal? This is Six Cents here with a little Logic Pro X tutorial. This is covering multi outputs except using Battery 4. Okay, I looked it up on YouTube and there wasn't a video available showing this technique. So I'm here today to show you that. All right, so we're just going to create a software instrument and load up Battery 4. So instruments, AU instruments, native instruments, Battery 4, and notice multi output. 16 times stereo. You can use mono if you want. You can use 8 times stereo, whatever you want to do. But I'm using 16 times stereo. All right. Now, battery is loaded. Okay, I'm just having it on my second screen for now as we focus on the mixer window. Click on the mixer button up here, and you'll see the track selected is this battery track. And on this battery track, since we did the 16 times stereo, there's this little plus and minus sign. Click that a whole bunch of times. And there we'll have aux 1 through 15. So you have 16 tracks total, okay, from channel 1 through 16. And we're going to right click, create track, okay. So now we have those aux tracks 1 through 15, okay. So I'm just going to right click after selecting those all and create a track stack summing stack is what I'm going to choose you can check these two different options and read the details right there to see what each one does exactly it's just basically a subgroup okay so I'm going to rename this battery 4 I just press shift enter that's my shortcut to rename and here's the battery 4 okay so now we're down to the last portion here. So I'm just going to open up a little jack kit and just make sure that, okay, the volume is pretty low there. So I'm just going to show you, notice on the jack kit track that all the sounds are coming out of that track. Okay. So to separate each track, which is what we want to do so we can have individual pan, uh, you know, automation, volume control, and so on. You want to right click here. I'm right clicking on the kick. Go to output, direct output. And I'm going to do stereo one and two. Okay. So then I have the snare. Okay. I want a snare on the second track. So I'll put uh, output, direct out, three, four. Now notice on the second track, okay, I have battery three, four. So I'm going to name that snare. And I'm going to name this one kick. Okay, and then let's uh, throw in a hi-hat. Okay, so then we have uh, three, four is used, five, six. So that's five, six. You see battery five, six. So we're going to name that hi-hat. Uh, hi Here, we select that hi-hat. And uh, that's we'll just leave it like that for now. You can do that for as many uh, different instruments sounds you have in here library kit uh, samples and so I'm just gonna close out battery for now I have all these extra aux tracks so I can delete them it's not gonna delete them out of the mixer okay if you want to delete them out of the mixer select them in here then delete from there okay now this is what I do I normally just press play and I'll start with hi-hat right so, all right, and then you're going to press space bar, press capture recording, which is right here, and customize capture recording. Okay, so you want to click that last right there. Make sure you have that here because anytime you press play and you just, you know, playing around on the keyboard or whatever MIDI device you have, you just drop what you just played. Okay, so I started at the end and this is the pattern that I want. So I select that pattern, uh, click the drop down, flatten. Okay, so now I'm going to throw this on the hi hat. Okay, now it sounds like we've got to quantize it a little bit. So just quantize that. All right.
Okay, so now I'll go back here and uh, do the same thing for the snare. Okay, just drop that, put that over here on that snare track, and then we'll do a kick. All right, so now the kick. Uh. All right, now we're just going to quantize everything as sixteenths. All right, just select it all, sixteenths, and this is what we have. Okay, so now you have your kick, now you can pan, all right? So, track header, uh, I believe, oh, it's showing the pan, just gotta expand this a little bit. There we go, and there's the pan. So you can now, okay, do the hi-hat, the little snare. Okay, so everything has its own control. And that's it, guys. So all you have to do is do that inside of a battery, okay? Do your output routings inside of Logic, create your tracks from the mixer, and you're set to go. Very simple. I'm not sure why there wasn't a video already on YouTube about this, but I'm glad I'm the first one to make this. Glad you uh, are watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and if you have any questions, feel free in the comments below. Thanks for watching again, guys. Peace and blessings always.